joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. Why, at the end of the day, we return to where we are coming from? Stop pretending and deceiving yourself. They will tell you, hey, we'll be together, we do it together, we have to do But at the end of the day, they and that togetherness is just in their mouth. They don't want it. Everybody wants to return back home where they belong. So we have to narrow it down. At least cut it into the an angle that can be able to be managed. Let the southeast go to their separate ways, the old South Eastern region. Let the Ududua people go and let the other ones go. Begin to establish that which they feel that will work for them. It is not a wicked request. It is not a request made out of wickedness, made out of jealousy and evil. No. It is a request made out of concern for the life of other people. Because we are concerned about human life. We want everybody to survive and be responsible. We want everybody to enjoy peace. We want everybody to enjoy greatness. We want everybody to attain to that very height that will propel us to glory. We want people to be free to practice whatever religion they feel like practicing without being threatened. We want people to have that space to pursue any career they desire to pursue without being hindered. We want a situation where people can be able to venture into business peacefully without being attacked or their property destroyed. We want a nation where people can exist freely, work freely, know that they are in, a, in their own nation, a place where people can be patriotic to. That is what we want. As it stands today, nobody is patriotic to Nigeria. Not the Udugua people, not the Arewa people, not the Biafrans. Nobody is, is ready to put his life down for this so-called contraption. That is why you see every man is fighting on his way. All of a sudden today, I just read a tweet that Fenika Yode made. Fenika Yode all of a sudden remember that the vice president of PTOB is a Mauritanian. Just call him a Mauritanian and you'll be, be sent back to Mauritania. If it were to be a beer friend, I said that word, you know what is coming. If it were to be a Biafran that made that comment that Fanica had made, you know what is going to come? You know what they're going to call it? But of course, because it is Fanica today, today they are in power. Nobody's going to say anything. He has the right to abuse anybody, insult anybody, say anything he wants to say. Up to the extent of bringing his dating mount to our beloved sitter, Shima Amanda, at this year. Chima Manda came out and spoke her mind, talking to the United States government on their evil act, the way they support evil in the country of Nigeria. She made her in case, and her case was very clear and genuine, with a pure heart. She wasn't saying that just because she's an evil woman. She was saying it because it's the right thing to say. But what did Fanny Kayode do? Fanny Kayode came and began to assess her character and call her names and it is right for them nobody will say anything after all it's an evil woman as long as you are evil you are a cheap target as long as you're an evil person anybody anywhere any clown anywhere can come out and throw a stone at you and nothing will happen that is how bad it is but those of us who are Biafras mainly the evil Biafras you have to wake up you have to wake up. Wake up and stand up to the challenge. The time is now, not tomorrow. The time is now, not tomorrow. Nobody is going to be there for you. It's just like what our Chim uh, sister Chimamanda said. These are the same people who are telling you about democracy. They preach democracy. They come to your country to dictate to you what to do that is right and what is wrong. 
They came and come and they will preach against fraud. That they don't support fraud. But I tell you, every Western country supports fraud in Nigeria. Take it to the bank. Every Western country, except for Finland, except Finland, every other Western country that I know of, maybe the major ones, the British, the Americans, the Canadians, the Italians, the French, they all support the fraud that is happening in Nigeria and they are the one promoting it. Is this Switzerland? And we have the God to come and tell you that the contraction is corrupt. Nothing is working. The leaders are not doing the right thing. But meanwhile, they support those leaders that are not doing right. They are the ones that they prefer. They are the pre their own preferred candidates. The preferred candidates of the West are those corrupt leaders. If not, how can you be how can you be congratulating somebody who have who have rigged into into a post in a election that was rigged? Very open. Even a child knew that that election was rigged. Even a child knew that you couldn't even wait. You couldn't even wait for the case to be resolved in court. You couldn't even wait at least to get the final judgment there because we know that the court will definitely allow him to continue. At least wait, let the court speak. You did not. You went ahead to congratulate an evil entity. What example are you showing? What you are telling us is that you support every fraudulent act that is happening in Nigeria. But when it happens in the United States, you begin to complain. When you catch a scammer in the United States or a fraudster in the United States, you begin to complain that Nigerians are corrupt. They are involved in scam. They are involved in fraud. But meanwhile, you are the supporter and promoter, promoter of fraud in that same contract of Nigeria. The United States, remember, the British, they are the one that is supporting every fraudulent, every fraudulent leader. Every fraudulent leader, they support it. Anything that is fraudulent, they support it. They are the one that have created this very safe zone for all the fraud that is happening in Nigeria. That is why they can be able to congratulate a froster, a drug baron, when he was being rigged into power. Even when they know that he was rigged into power, they congratulate him. You see why, dear friends, you must not wait for anybody to rescue you. That is why today you see our, our spokesperson, Master Simon, for doing what he's doing. That is why he is focused on what he's doing, pursuing that which is right, making sure that he frees his people. Everything we are doing today is about our freedom. Master Simon Emperor is fighting tirelessly to free his own people. And I thank Chukwoko Kabiyama for a country like Finland. We are Chukwoko Kabiyama sent him to prepare him for this mission. When you look at the story of Master Simon Emperor and how he came up to this level, you will know that he was prepared for this mission. In this history of Biafra and the struggle, this is only one man who has a direct a direct relationship with president of nations who has a direct relationship and closeness with president of a nation at least who has that contact to reach out to a president without without organizing an official without making it official be a france we are supposed to tap into that and we are supposed to glorify to go on his behalf but some people cannot see beyond their nose. They are still busy castigating him, distracting him. But I thank you, Kevin, that Master Simon Empire is not someone you can distract. The more you distract him, the more he goes higher. The more you think you are bringing him down, the more you are lifting him up. The more you try to hinder him and stop him, the more you make way for him to propel for that. Every attack that was projected against Mazis America have advertised him to the whole world. Today, he's a name to reckon with. Take it or leave it. Your jealousy might not allow you to agree with me. But I tell you, the name Mazis Simon is a name to reckon with today. And I tell you, 
wherever our Supreme Amazon Nana Gano is, he will be very, very proud of him. Master Simon Epa have made the job so easy for him. That is why I say I wish that Mazen Nandekano is outside with us. This is an opportunity that Mazen Nandekano was looking for all this while. The opportunity that Mazen Nandekano was looking for all this while. And when Mazen Nandekano saw the opportunity, I believe that Mazen Nandekano knew whom he saw. When Mazen Nandekano saw Mazen Samarepa, he knew that this is what he has been looking for for all this while and that is why he never let him go and he made it open to the whole Biafra that this very man you are seeing is bringing a new dimension into the struggle <laughs> today are you going to say you're not seeing that new dimension will you say you are not seeing that new dimension that Mazin Naga talked about and because the the saboteurs who surrounded Mazin Naga they cannot instead of of embracing the new 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 dimension when Mazin Nanakano provided that new dimension they became so agitated they began to fight to take him away to block him to make sure he doesn't come any close the same way they have been doing in the past for a very long time anybody that wants to bring something meaningful to support Mazin Nanakano they will trash the person anybody that brings a suggestion anybody they see that has something to offer they will stand against the person and make sure that that person doesn't see the light of the day and I can tell you, many genuine people have come into this struggle and gone away. But because Master Simon Echo was destined for this very assignment, when Master Nanekan saw him, he recognized him. And he said, this is the man. Listen to him. Share his videos. Pay attention to him. He didn't hide it. He didn't keep it to himself. Because he has been waiting for him. And today, if you tell me that you are not seeing that new dimension, it is that either you are jealous, you are blind, or you are not following what is going on. For every Biafra that is following the things that are going on, that is sincere to him or herself, you can see a great difference. You can see a great achievement. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The kind of diplomatic move we are making today, the kind of allies we have already today and we are about to have, we have never had it that way before. And that is what we have been lacking. I can bet you that whenever our case appears in the United Nations today, whenever our case is raised in the United Nations, countries will stand and support Biafra. Countries will stand and support Speaker for Biafra. That is why we are not afraid anymore. We can't be afraid of anybody. It is time for us to go home. Even if we decide to bring war on Biafra, I bet you we have allies who are going to stand shoulder to the shoulder with us and make sure that we win. We have been on this path before for three good years on our own. When our eternal leader Dim Odumugo Juku, when our eternal leader Dim Odumugo Juku declared Biafra, he didn't have much with him. There was no international connections and all that. There was no European country that he's directly connected to. Some few of them that came around began to come after the event. And yet they couldn't make, the, 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 there was no solid agreement. The few countries in Africa that KED in was later on. But I can tell you, in the present time that we are in, we are laying a very strong foundation, a solid foundation. That when it kicks off again, it can never be like before. And it cannot last. It cannot last long. It will be like a truth. And even, we might not even fire a shot and Biafra will come. That is what I'm seeing. So if you are a Biafra, you must have to sit up. All these ones who are being scared, uh, you don't want war. You don't want... Quit all those kind of thoughts. If you are looking for your freedom, everything is possible. If you genuinely want to fight for freedom, everything that is open door for everything, everything can happen. Don't say you don't want this, you don't want that, you don't want that. In as much as you have your own intention, what your desire is, let the door be open for everybody. Just like I was spoken in my said that we don't have any enemy anywhere. We don't have any person who is going to direct and say you are a special enemy. And you cannot choose our enemy for us. 
we are in good terms with all the nations. Every any nation can be our enemy, as long can be our friend as long as they want to be. As long as you play on the interest and be on the interest of the Biafra people, you are our friend. Nobody can direct us on who to choose as our friend and who not to choose. The Biafrans will choose their own friend. Just as Mandela said, Mandela said that your friends cannot be your enemies cannot be my enemy. You cannot force me to take your enemies as my enemy. Mandela said that in his own word. And that is the direction we are taking. Take it. You can't tell us a nation that will be our friend and those who will be our enemy. Any nation that accept us and work with us to work with us, we work with them. Any nation that accepts Biafra, all we have to check is our interest. As long as our interest is protected, we are going to work with you. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter whom you are. It doesn't matter what the world thinks about you, what they call you. We don't care. What matters to Biafran people today is that any nation that accepts us, we accept them and we work with them. That is where we are. And I thank Chukwu for the man we have in the M of Affairs today. Biafra is going to come. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter whether you agree or you don't agree. It doesn't matter whether you key in or you don't key in. Biafra is going to come. And it's coming faster than you ever imagined. Faster than you can ever imagine. The only better thing for us to do today is to exit from this very irredeemable nation. The contraption called Nigeria is irredeemable. I say irredeemable. Even if you don't know before, you should know now. A country where professors rig election. A, a country where professors participate in fraud. A country where pastors participate in fraud and support it. A country where a man supports fraud and participates in it. A country where hatred is the order of the day. A country where they never reward good work. They only reward fraud stars. They only reward evil. But they never reward good. How can such nations survive? How can such nations survive? A place where the only thing that qualifies you to any post is fraud. How fraudulent you are. It is only how fraudulent you are that determines if you can be able to attend to certain heights or achieve certain things in that contraption. Is that the place you want to be? You saw during the time of election, it was a competition of fraud. Who is more fraudulent than the other? They are so called president led today. So fraudulent. To the extent that his own fraud can no longer be mentioned anymore. They are now recording his fraud as an achievement. That is how bad it is. Every fraud that that man committed in Lagos State turned Lagos straight to his own personal property. They are now today recording that as achievement. A man is supposed to be in jail. I see that is not enough. A fraudster who changed his name to someone else. We don't even know his date of birth. Nobody knows his original name. Nobody knows how he made his wealth. A drug baron rose to the stage of president. Are you talking about Atiko Abubakar? Another fraudster who has several cases in different parts of the world, convicted in the United States, just like his uh, Tulubu. Both of them convicted in the United States. Convict. With different kinds of fraud as attached to them. And yet, they came out boldly and project themselves and that they want to be your president. And people are surrounding them. Professors, doctors, engineers are clapping for them, surrounding them and promoting them. Are you talking about your Peter Obi? Peter Obi that went and saved his own money in Panama. His name appeared in Panama Papers. Where he was esca escaping, escaping tax. Because he doesn't want to pay tax, he took his own money to go and keep it outside. That is Peter Obi for you. Money that he should have been invested in Anambra State. Use that money, invest it, keep it in the bank in Anambra State and begin to give loan to people. That money he kept in Panama can do a lot in Anambra State. He didn't could, could do it. If, if tax inverter today is the one they are celebrating as enemy. You see? 
you must have fraud attached to your to your credential before you can be able to contest for any post is that the nation you want to be part of only a froster will enjoy such nation that is why we must get out of it it is so important to get out of it because they are they are corrupting our Biafran people. Biafran people are corrupted. They are being corrupted. The Biafran people. When you go all over the world today, where you see crimes and they mention Biafran name, the, it is the contract of Kona that is pushing them into crime. The country today is pushing youths into crime in all over the world, teaching them, not just pushing them, they teach them how to be fraudulent. They teach them that the only way to survive is to be fraudulent. And they push them to the world to go and begin to commit all manner of atrocities. Some engage in internet froster. Some engage in different kinds of drugs. Some engage in drugs. Because where they come from, where they have more than enough to make them who are, whom they are, they have been denied. They have been denied and given a condition. You must know who knows who before you can get admission into the university. You must know who knows who before you can even get the admission to some, some secondary school. You must know who knows who, even when you succeed in passing through university to get a job. You must know, know, know someone who knows someone before you can be able to get a job. You will be there. People who does not know their rest and life will be living large and big, having all the opportunities. Meanwhile, you that came out with first class in your result, we have no job. You turn to a Canada rider. And they left them no option to begin to search for greener pasture elsewhere. And in the process, most of them get into different kinds of crime in order to survive. There is no excuse for one to get into crime. That is true. But we must have to deal with the foundation of those crimes. We must have to talk about the foundation. The foundation of every criminality you see in the life of the youths in Nigeria is the government itself. When the foundation is faulty. What can you do? When the foundation is faulty, that's nothing you can do. That is why we are speaking on daily basis that that faulty and evil foundation must be crumbled. It must come down. The only alternative for you to have a sane nation where human beings can survive is disintegration. Disintegrate the zoo. Let the Arewas go their way. There is nothing wrong in having an Islamic nation. It is good. There is nothing wrong in it. But you must have to establish it where people accept it. So let the North that have accepted the Islamic nation go their separate ways and establish their Islamic nation. Live there. We can equally visit if we choose to. It doesn't stop us from visiting. We visit. Let the Odudua people go their separate ways. Begin to use whatever they want on their own. If they like, they can block their borders or they can push some laws and say that you cannot own property in their land. It is their law. It is their law that you cannot own any property, you cannot buy any land in Odudua land. When they get to Odudua, let them put those laws in place. It doesn't mean that we cannot visit. We can still visit. We can still intermarry. We can still do business. Meanwhile, we obey all their laws. In Biafran land, whatever law we feel is going to be with we will place that law and we live with it. Visitors can still come and go out obeying our laws. This is the only way all the people will be protected. Every boundary is unsafe. And, uh, and areas will protect them. And security will return to everybody. Peace will return. Growth will return. There will now be a healthy competition among all these nations. And I tell you, if Nigeria break up today, no nation that will break up from Nigeria will be as bad as Nigeria. Never. No nation that will break out from Nigeria will be as bad as Nigeria. Never. It will never happen. I appreciate everyone who has joined me on this message today. Wherever you are connecting from, if you have joined from Biafra land, from Asia, Europe, America, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Russia, I appreciate you and I say, May Chukwu Kukamagana protect you. May Chukwu Kukamagana protect everyone who has joined. Please share this broadcast on your platform so that people can find us where we are. Share it to family and friends. Share it to every Biafra so that they can be able to key in. May Chukwu Kaka be my guide and protect the Biafran people, the Dudua people, the Middle Britons. May Chukwu Kaka be my guide and protect our ESN. May Chukwu Kaka be my guide and protect our Liberation Army. May Chukwu Kaka be my guide and protect the BNL.
who are working hard, hand in hand with us, making sure that things happen. May you go come and God and protect the Umada who are doing a great job. May you go come and God and protect all the media warriors who are speaking on different platforms, sending information across. May you go come and God and protect our supreme leader, Mazen Nandekan. May you go come and God and protect our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Epa. Wherever he is, we cover Master Simon Epa with the president of school, Gabiama, wherever he is. Guide him, protect him. Every attack against him, spiritually and physically, will never have effect. May Chukwoko Gabiama continue to guide and protect our supreme leader, Master Nandi, and secure him. Give him good health. Protect him, keep him for us, and bring him back to us very, very soon. No weapon formed or fashion against Mazen Nandi Kano shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashion against Mazen Nandi Kano shall prosper. No weapon fashion against the Biafran people shall prosper. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. I appreciate you all and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you and stay safe. Bye-bye.